Hey everyone, today we'll create this amazing UI dashboard animation completely from scratch inside After Effects. So make sure to watch till the end because you'll learn lots of useful tips and techniques in this tutorial. And before we dive in, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. All right, let's get started. Open After Effects. So I have this UI design PSD file, which I designed for this tutorial, and you will get it in the project files. While importing, set import kind to composition. Retain layer sizes and layer options to editable layer styles. Now double click on this UI design comp. I have two UI design layers separately. Go inside this comp. Over here, I have separated these elements, which I have to animate on their own layers. We will use an expression to animate them. First, let's change their label colors for better clarity. Make these layers 3D. Now make a new null layer and call it controller. Make sure the name is exactly the same. Apply the slider control effect on it and rename it to length. Then duplicate it and rename the second one to range. Now select this layer and add an expression on its Y rotation by holding the Alt key and clicking on the stopwatch. Copy and paste this expression here. You will get this expression in the project file. Now right click on the layer, select copy expression only and paste it onto the other layers. Now, if we adjust the length value a little bit and also adjust the range value, we will get this amazing Y rotation reacting layers controlled by the controller layer. Now let's set their position properly in the composition. Then create a new null layer and parent all the reacting layers to it. Press P, R for rotation and make a keyframe over three seconds on the timeline. Increase its scale like this and set its position at the center of the composition. At the beginning, set its position outside the composition like this. Now make a keyframe on the length values. Set its value to around minus 110 at the beginning. And at two seconds, set its value to zero. Now duplicate this null layer and parent the original null to this duplicate null. Delete these keyframes from both null layers. Easy. Ease these keyframes and adjust the graph like this. Adjust the keyframe positions here for continuous movement in the layers. Adjust the length slider value graph slightly like this. Now solo this background layer. Select the rectangle tool. Set its stroke value to zero and fill to any color. Then make a perfect rectangle that covers this background layer properly. Go under this rectangle layer properties. Increase its roundness and make a keyframe on its size. Reduce its size like this. Now copy and paste this easing onto these keyframes. Set the rectangle size similar to the background layer around 1200 by 800.
change this background layers track matte to alpha matte using the parent option and link it with the shape layer like this. Make a keyframe on its scale. At the beginning, increase its scale to around 170. Easy ease, these keyframes. Cut these two layers over here and adjust the keyframes slightly like this and also adjust the graph editor for smoother animation. Now duplicate this shape layer. Set its fill to none and stroke value to around 10 Then add a Trim Paths effect on it. Decrease its end value to around 30. Make a keyframe on its offset value and animate it like this. Then make a keyframe on its stroke width. And at the beginning, set its value to zero. Go under Taper and increase its start and end length. This will give us this clean rotating edge on the background layer. Now, select the background layer, go under Layer Styles, enable Drop Shadow, and adjust its values like this to get a subtle shadow on the dashboard. Now go back to these layers turn off collapse transformations, then make these layers 3D. Now select the UI Design 2 layer, select the Anchor Point tool, and adjust its anchor point to the right corner of the layer. Rotate its Y rotation to around 110 degrees. Now make a new null layer and make it 3D. Parent both UI layers to this null. Adjust the Null Layer's Anchor Point here in 3D space using the Anchor Point tool. Select this Null Layer, press R for Rotation, S for Scale, and P for Position, and make keyframes on them. Move a little ahead in the timeline and adjust its Y rotation like this. Increase its scale slightly and change its position like this. Now select the UI Design 2 layer, right click on it, go under Transform, select Flip Horizontal, then adjust its X position like this. Adjust Null Layer Properties a little bit until we get a good look. Now, easy ease these keyframes and adjust the graph like this. Select the UI Design 2 layer, make a keyframe on its position, and at the beginning, adjust its Y position like this. Copy and paste the same graph easing onto it.
Now make a new solid layer and call it BG for background. Apply the four color gradient effect on it and adjust the colors according to your dashboard like this. Now add a simple expression on the gradient points. Write wiggle 1 comma 1000 inside the parentheses. Adjust it according to your need and copy paste it onto the other points. We will get something like this. Now duplicate the UI design one layer and apply the gradient ramp effect on it. Adjust its points like this. Then change the bottom layer's track mat to Luma Matte. We will get this fading look for removing it at the beginning of the animation. Make a keyframe on its black color at the ending keyframe, and at the beginning, change its color to white like this. Copy and paste the easing onto these keyframes, and adjust the gradient points for a smooth look. Now copy the layer styles from this layer and paste them onto the UI Design 2 layer. Now go under this UI Design. Now we will also animate these layers. For that, apply the transform effect on this layer. Make keyframes on its position and opacity at one second. At the beginning, set its Y position like this and opacity to zero. Easy ease these keyframes and adjust the graph like this. Now copy paste this transform effect onto the other layers. By pressing Ctrl plus Shift plus Alt, drag these keyframes like this to offset them. If the layers go outside the dashboard, just change their track mat like this. Now, change this layer's position over here. And we will get this amazing animation. Apply the turbulent displace effect onto this background layer. Increase its amount and size values to add some distortion to the gradient. Finally, make a new adjustment layer and apply the add grain effect on it. Set its viewing mode to final output, set the intensity to 0.5, then apply the posterized time effect on it. And this is our final animation. You can use this amazing technique in many different ways, and you can also use this animation as a template for your projects. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to the channel for more tutorials like this. And if you wanna get the project files from this tutorial, you can download them from my Kofi page. I've added a small amount for support. The link is in the description below. I'll see you in the next tutorial.